nobody buys cryptocurrencies because of what they do. Nobody. People might say that they're like, oh, we're here for the tech or we do it because it solves some fucking problem. They don't. Nobody solves anything in crypto right now. Uh, and, and nobody invests based on solutions. And that might seem fucking stupid, but like that that is the case. So if they're, they're not investing in solutions, then what are they investing in? They're investing in problems. It's the exact opposite. They're actually just investing in problems. So basic attention token brave uh they have a browser it's kind of like if chrome and firefox had a baby that was obsessed with cryptocurrency it's fine it's a decent browser it has its own web3 wallet neat but the real kick of brave is is that inside of brave is a native ad blocker right uh, you use brave you don't have to install add-ons or extensions or shit it just blocks adverts natively like you don't see adverts on youtube or google or really really anywhere uh, but you can go into Brave settings, right, and you can turn on advertisements. You can turn them back on. And the reason they do they, they, they have you do this is because they'll pay you some of these, these bat tokens, these basic attention tokens. And so Brave has a deal with advertisers where the advertisers give them money in the form of purchasing their token from their treasury or whatever how it fucking works. And then users who opt in to ads, instead of getting random ads from Google or YouTube, they get the uh, Brave intercepts those ads and replaces them with the ones Brave has sold. Uh, and and nobody fucking cares. <laughs> nobody cares. It's, it's still not really why people do anything or buy basic attention token. Uh, the real reason people buy basic attention token or or want to support Brave in general isn't because they've done something worthwhile or like they've fixed it or solved the advertising problem on the internet. They haven't. They're probably not even very profitable. The amount of uh, basic attention tokens you get if you turn on this setting is like fucking none. Like you're, you're making 30 cents a month, not a day, a month in basic attention tokens if you're just like browsing around trying to, you know, be paid for seeing adverts. And it's not fucking worth it. Would you rather watch, you know, 10 minutes of ads a week in the form of YouTube videos, probably 10 minutes of unskippable ads. Like, even if you're skipping as fast as you can, you still get, it's probably going to total to 10 minutes if you're a person on the internet a lot. And then what? At the end of the month, you get 30 cents. You get, you get 30 rides on the little pony at the supermarket. That's it. Nobody fucking cares. It's not why they do it. Well, the, the reason that Brave is a good project and that basic attention token has investors and that what they're doing is actually good and worthwhile isn't because of their proposed solution. It's because of the observed problem. And the problem is that everything to do with Google, Facebook, Amazon, Meta, data tracking is a, it's a fucking Orwellian nightmare. It's, it's an Orwellian nightmare. Uh, and people agree that that's a problem, and they fucking hate it. And so Brave, and basic attention token people, they haven't really solved that problem, but they have founded themselves as the group of people who agree that it's a problem. So who, who cares if they have a solution, you know, r right now? Who cares if they have a solution this exact second? What they're attracting investors for is the agreement that there is a problem that needs to be worked on. And so everybody sees this massive fucking problem with advertisers and data sharing and Facebook just got hit with like a $150 million fine or something in Europe for breaking every fucking law they have about data sharing because of course they did. Uh, and, and Brave is this company that like, agrees that's a problem, and if you think that's a problem, then you should give them money in the form of buying their token or investing in their project or using their fucking browser or whatever. And that will that will put you in on the ground floor of a company that is trying to create a solution to this obviously massive problem. Uh, the Graph, GRT, is another project uh, that you don't need to fucking understand. You don't need to understand about it because nobody invests in the graph because it earns fees. It doesn't earn fees. <laughs> if you go, if you go into any 
a place where GRT is, like, discussed amongst people who hold GRT and like GRT, like, the number one thing they say in there is, where are the fees, Yaniv? Where are my fees? Because they don't make any fucking money. But who cares? The investors don't fucking care. They don't care. They don't care one bit. Because, and you don't have to understand any of this shit, and I don't either. I don't understand it. All I did is I asked some software dev people uh, a question, which is, is data indexing and, like, data querying a pain in the ass? And all of them were like, Jesus Christ, yes, it's fucking awful. And I was like, if I wanted to start a new company that uh, had bi their own Bitcoin charts and was like their own exchange, like a centralized exchange, and I wanted to index the data for, for Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, all of the like major top 400 cryptocurrencies, how many people would I need to hire and how long would it take? And how much hardware would it cost? And like, what's the upkeep? And, and it's a fucking nightmare. It's a nightmare. And the graph, all it, all it really says is like, hey, we're, we're a company, we're, we're a protocol that thinks data indexing is a problem. And so we're working on a solution for data indexing. And then people, in, and then people invest, Coinbase invests, right? Because obviously, indexing data and querying data is like a huge fucking problem. And who cares if Graph has a solution this exact second, they're working on it. And also, they do actually kind of have a solution, they just don't really have like a payment model. The, but that's neither here nor there. Chainlink uh, is a project which involves price oracles, not historical data, but like current active data. How much money should I buy in Ether for? Uh, seventeen hundred dollars to seventeen thousand dollars, right? And the oracle problem, like this, qu this querying of how much is an asset this exact second, is like a huge. It's a huge problem in terms of centralization, because you GameStop, you just, it's one. It's one company, GameStop. Uh, when when centralized uh, stock trading platforms had open shorts on GME. And the price of GME went from $20 to $300. Instead of allowing their users who held GME to hold that stock on their platform and sell it at $300 and absolutely fuck them, uh, these centralized trading platforms just sold their GME for like 8 bucks. They just, they just forced them to sell and they wouldn't let anyone buy on their platform. And you just had to believe Robinhood or whoever. You just had to believe whoever. Uh, that the price of GME wasn't really $300 that day. It was only $8, and oh, also, you had to sell it. And, you know, that has absolutely nothing to do with why they were fined $70 million or whatever. So, you need to have a decentralized price oracle, or, or you at least need to agree that centralized price oracles, like what happened in these centralized exchanges, are a problem. And so, if, if people who buy Chainlink, who invest in Chainlink... That's what they think is the problem, and it, and they're right. The the brave browser people with the basic attention token thinking that the advertising situation is is a fucking nightmare. They're right. The, the GRT bag holders, we're all bag holders right now. It's it's, it's May of twenty twenty three. We're all fucking bag holders right now. Uh, they they're right. The data indexing sucks. Link Marines are right. That price oracle system sucks. BNT holders. Yours truly, I can't tell you or even fucking talk about it, cause. <laughs> but like, the, we all we think that trading, inter crypto trading is a problem, and so it doesn't matter. You know, it's it's not really why people invest in BNT is because BNT is like this end all be all. They've fixed the they've they've BNT has fixed the issues with slippage and friction between you know different types of currencies. No, the they, the people buy the token because they believe that that's a problem, and it is. It's obviously a problem, uh, and and it doesn't matter if Bancor has like a perfect solution right now, or even if their fucking protocol is on fire half of the goddamn time. A shit ton of people. And capital 
dedicated to this like one problem and like actually fixing it finally uh and and people who think it's a problem will pay money for that uh you know ethereum decentralized computing decentral whatever bitcoin decentralized money xrp everybody shits on xrp because it has the worst token distribution of all time and i say that in a video where the graph has been mentioned <laughs> with no irony None whatsoever. Uh, they're in j they're they're in the court right now. The Brad Garlinghouse might be going to jail. Who knows how much money they'll be fined? Probably hundreds of millions. Uh, at the very least, Brad Garlinghouse and whoever is the other guy that's the head of Ripple that isn't David Schwartz. Uh, they probably they probably did some uh, no no moves in terms of dumping on people who just invested with their own personal reserves. But XRP. Uh, nobody fucking cares about any of that. Nobody, nobody gives a shit. People who invest in XRP, that doesn't fucking phase them whatsoever. Um, and this isn't a schizophrenia joke for anyone who understands the XRP community. Uh, people invest in XRP because XRP says international payments, cross-border payments, are fucked. And they obviously are. Uh, if you go, go ask, if you might be, you might be young and watching this shitty video, but go ask your mom how much it costs for a wire transfer, right? <laughs> she'll, she'll laugh at you. She'll just laugh. Like that'll, that's the immediate normal human reaction to thinking about a wire transfer is audible laughter at the absurdity of having to pay a bank like 70 fucking dollars in order to transfer money. Their one fucking job. But that's what you have to do. And remittances, the act of uh, doing wire transfers cross-border, in the United States alone is like a $60 billion a year organization. $60 billion. People spend $60 billion. They aren't sending $60 billion. They're sending it far in excess of that. The, the fees for just the wire transfers are $60 billion. And so it doesn't matter if XRP is on fire and in super jail and... Uh, token not need or who cares what matters is, is that if you think cross-border payments are a problem if you think everything to do with cross-border payments is fucked then you have a place to give your money that works exclusively on this problem and so people invest in xrp now there are plenty of people who don't you know consider any of this shit uh when they when they go to spend their money on tokens and like, we can't just ignore them, right? Like, surely these people, what, what are they doing? What are they investing their money on? And they're, very simply, they're not investing their gambling. 